This is Daniel Getachu's workshop. It is a room in his parents' compound in Addis Ababa. At a cost of $120, the 24-year-old has designed this system he calls V-Rider, a second-hand bicycle modified to include an Android phone and two laptops. With this, he can use the bike to control the video game, an idea he developed when Huawei sponsored his visit to China two years ago. In China, there are uh, a lot of... Uh, uh, devices, prototype devices, and also exhibition halls. So we were, uh, had, we got the chance to visit uh, all the way to the exhibition center. So I've seen this device. They just put it on top of a stage just to show an 8K projector. But my uh, focus was going to the bicycle itself. This box where a bicycle wheel is fitted regulates speed in the game. On this box, uh, there are optical sensors which detect the rotation of the wheel so that I can uh, get the motion, whether it's forward or backward, and send it to the computer dashboard. So the dashboard, which is the software part of the system, uh, will accept each signal and uh, convert it into a virtual keyboard. And uh, it's like uh, uh, virtually pressing the keyboard. The phone has an application that sends signals to the computer which guides the left and right movements of the car in the game simply by turning the handlebars. For now, Daniel has just developed a prototype. However, he says if he gets willing partners, he can develop this technology further for real bicycles. The inventor hopes that one day it could be played by anyone who has access to a bike. Daniel's innovation also has a component that monitors in real time how many calories a player loses while on the game. To calculate the calorie, uh, we will feed our uh, weight on the system before we play the game and also uh, there is a speed while I just uh, press the pedal it will take both these two values and instantly shows my calorie. Which means the V-Rider is more than just a racing game but also comes with health benefits. Something this game's developer hopes will attract future investors. Coletta Anjohi for CGTN in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.